Hey, what's happening, guys? You know, we're all having a lot of fun playing with our circuits and stuff, but somehow, some way, you got to be able to power them. And the general way is, you know, we use DuPont cables like these. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, that usually involves clamping them, you know, to the power supply alligator cables or some manner of that. Or you could solder them and do something like that as well. But what if there was an easy way to hook them up to a USB power supply? I wish I could claim the credit for this, but I did not create this. I stumbled across it, but it is so cool. I got to show you. So this is the thing I found on Thingiverse, and it's by Daniel Royberg. He created it uh, January 8th of this year. And you can see it's super simple and super cool. You take your DuPont cables and you simply slide them in here and it puts the pins in a place where they can slip into, you know, a USB uh, power supply or, uh, you know, the jack on your computer, whatever you need to use. It's even marked the positives connection. I mean, this is uh, just about perfect. So I downloaded one, but I don't have 3D printers anymore. For me, they work for about a week. And then something goes wacko that I can't fix, and they anger me, so they have to go away. But even if you don't have a 3D printer, you can get these made. Let me show you how. That's right. I'm talking about PCB Way. And you can go here to their CNC 3D printing and check out what they have to offer. Because that is exactly what I did here. So we select our files. Oh, what was this one called? Huh. One moment. There it is, USB OK. So all you have to do is load that up into PCB's website, and I'll put a link to that, you know, down below. You don't have to worry about it. Boom. There we got a view of it. We can even check it out in 3D. Well, maybe not today we can. But anyway, you can choose how you want to do it. Resin, blah, blah, blah. How you wanted it printed. In this case, we do resin. I think I did white. And you can see the cost for, uh, I did five of them. Is eleven dollars. You add that in with something else you're buying, and bang, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. So let's take a look at the actual parts. So it took a little longer than normal because I ordered them over the Chinese New Year, and while the PCB Way factories were churning out product, a lot of the shippers in China weren't dealing with anything, so it did take an extra week. But we got them. Take a look. They look phenomenal. So if we take our, our DuPont cables here, we'll say in this case white is our positive. And black is our negative. Look at that, they just fit right in there perfectly. Let me just make sure I got them. Pardon me, I'm bumping the camera, I know. Make sure I got them seated all the way in there. Yep. So now, you know, we can plug this in like so. And bring in a USB power supply here. Hopefully this doesn't blow up on us. I don't think that it will. Power it up. Yeah. They work great. I will uh, 
put a link to where you can download this file. If you guys are interested in this, I think it's super cool. Like I said, I really wish that I'd have thought of doing this. Man, I don't have the design skills for this, though. I mean, look at this. This has a nice grippy surface. Smooth on the bottom. Slid in there just perfectly. You know, you could paint this. You could uh, glue those in there, make it permanent. Do whatever you want. But either way, man, that is super cool. And that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Again, I'll put a link to uh, Daniel's USB adapter. You can download them if you want. And if you need to have them printed, I suggest you check out PCB Way. There will be a link for them down below too. So, if you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring my channel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. That's it. I'm out. Peace, my friends.